Hi everyone, this is Sultan with the Get WP Funnels team. In my last few videos, I have showed you how you can uh, start creating your funnel, and I explained the different options you get in the funnel planning canvas. Okay, I also showed you how you can add a step. Uh, then I showed you how you can remove steps, how you can draw your connectors, and how you can plan your funnels using the drag and drop canvas. Right. So now we have also added the default product in the checkout page for this funnel. Uh, so now the next step is to start designing your funnel steps, which I'll be showing you in this video. Okay, so this is the funnel I left off and uh, now I'll first start with the landing page. So since I've imported a template, all of these already have designs in them. But when you create from scratch, at that time there is no design available, which means you have to edit it from scratch. Okay, so for now let me just uh, edit this one. In one of my future videos, I'll also show you complete tutorials on uh, creating a funnel from scratch. Okay, so now let me click on uh, preview first. And you can see this is the landing page template that we uh, imported. Now you can see these ones have dummy text here, and this is basically the product image. So what you have to do is before you start designing your page, uh, the first thing to do is to sit down with the marketing team and decide on the content you want to include in this page. All right. So simply uh, get the content ready. And then when you start designing, you can just replace the text and make the minor changes you require in terms of design. So let me just go back to the planning canvas. And now let me click on edit. Now, since my preferred page builder is Elementor, this is going to open in the Elementor edit mode. And there you go. This has been loaded in the Elementor edit mode. These are basically uh, dummy content. As you can see, it says perfect landing page to sell your ebook. All right. Uh, and then this is Laura Mepsum that you've been used. All right. But this is completely customizable. You can edit each and every text available here, each and every icon available here. You can choose or what product you want to sell which means you can replace this image with your product image all right as you scroll down each and every element is editable the same way you edit uh, an elementary template all right uh, the, our templates are designed uh, based on our research that we've done on different industries so for ebooks this is the best type of uh, landing page that we could find that most people use and gets great number of success so this is basically the format that we thought is the best. And uh, so once developed, now all your job is to get the content ready and change the text and go ahead and start using this uh, full fledged. If you want to change the uh, colors or if you want to add more elements, that's totally up to you. This is completely customizable. There is no restrictions. All right. Now, one thing I would like to point out is that in this page, you see this button. This is not actually a button from Elementor. This is one of our widgets that comes with WP Funnels. It's called the WP Funnels Next Step button. Let me show you in the widget area. If you scroll down and go to the section under WP Funnels, you'll see this icon that says the Next Step button. All right. So once you click on the button, it will give you the option to configure the buttons. All right. So that time you can change text. And here you can choose what type of button this is, whether it's a checkout or whether this is for lead generation. As we have plans for lead generation in future, we have a plan for using this button for that as well, right? So this is the next step button. Anyone who clicks on this in the live site will be taken to the next step as per connected in the funnel planning canvas, right? So once you edit this page and you're happy with it, you can go back to the canvas and now you can do the same for the checkout page. So you can click on preview to see how the checkout page looks uh, live on your site. So this is how it is. But as you can see that uh, the basic data here and the product image are basically provided by us. You can change the text here. You can change the image here and change the colors if you want to. And this will be uh, native to your site. All right. Uh, if you want to edit this, you can always click on edit. And it will open in Elementor edit mode again. So now you can see this is the checkout page, and you have the form here uh, for putting the information. 
and you can see that under your order uh, the product that you assigned is here i have assigned this product design thinking ebook and that is now listed here as the ordered product right so then when someone clicks on place order uh, the order will be processed now the thing is this is not really the default form loaded from WooCommerce directly this is basically our widget which is the wp files checkout widget so if you go to the widget area and scroll to the very bottom under wp funnels you'll find the checkout widget all right so now what you can do is you can click on this you can choose to use single column layout or you can choose to use two column layout right now enable order bump here is if you choose yes or no this will not have effect right now because you didn't assign a product to the order bump to assign a product to the order bump again you have to go to the configure drawer and check out and then enable the order bump there and assign a product right here we just only give you option to enable and disable it and make minor changes to it okay so i'll show you how you use the order bump properly in the plugin in one of my next few videos all right so for now let's focus on this all right so once you're happy with the checkout page click on update and the checkout page will be saved and you can go back to your funnel mapping canvas and finally you can go to the thank you page uh, you can also edit this one and see how this one looks like if you want you can preview that as well so there you go it's all it also opened in elementary edit mode but you can see it says no order found you cannot access this page this is because we are directly editing this or when we directly view this page this is the message you get as no products were yet processed all right the thank you page is designed so that after someone has purchased the product they'll get the thank you page right uh, so when you test out the whole funnel at that time you'll get the product details here but you see this thing is not really a default form this is one of our uh wb funnels widgets all right once you click on this you have the option to again enable or disable the details you want to show here remember i showed you in the canvas that i turned off the billing details for the thank you page and here this is the same options here so whichever changes you make here they'll also reflect on the canvas all right so let me go back to the funnel planning canvas so now that i have the landing page design the checkout page design and the thank you page design we can go ahead and view this funnel first let me just save this and then i'll click on view the funnel all right Now you can see this is the landing step once i click on get the book it will take me to the checkout page all right and now i have to place the order the first thing first i need to fill out the form uh, let me just fill it out with my basic information And now let me click on place order and it will take me to the thank you page where the order is placed all right so that's it now you have created a basic funnel now the next step is i'm going to show you how you can include an order bump into this funnel in the next video all right so thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video where i show you how to use the order bump. take care